And hello, Elena. Hey. Welcome. Thank and you. Thank you for coming down as well. Thank you. All right. So um, I'll let you present yourself and then tell us, uh, because we haven't met before, so no. I'd, I'm also very interested in hearing uh, a little bit about you and, and residence. What is residence for some Yes. Um, so, me and my partner Elin Molander, who couldn't be here today, we founded Residus about three years ago. And we did so with the sole intention of making sustainable and responsible fashion, basically. I feel like this is falling off, sorry. Um, and when we started out, um, we started out with Residue, which the name of the brand indicates. Uh, in other words, surplus or leftover fabrics. Um, usually they say that the impact of a garment, about 80% of the environmental impact comes from the production of the fabric. And if you worked in the fashion industry, you know that in um, warehouses and hangars all over the world, there are tons and tons of leftover fabrics from other productions. It can be cancelled productions or sale collections or high MQs where you haven't reached the type of orders that you initially wanted. And so we wanted to sort of cut out that 80% impact by going out and finding what is already out there and bringing it to life again. So that was our starting point and that, that's why the company is called uh, Residus, as in residue. But we quickly realized that we also need to have a uh, new production of garments to sort of be able to have a consistency in the brand, to build a basic assortment. And when we realized this, we had to deal with the 80% tail that I mentioned before, which is the fabric production. And I think that's what I'm here to talk about a little bit today, uh, the importance of transparency. So, of course, like a lot of other brands, and it's very popular today, you start by looking at sustainable fibers. And this is super important, but it's only a small part of the impact of the whole product journey. So, um, we really felt that we wanted to be honest and authentic in our sustainability work, which made us realize we have to look at the whole tale of supply chain. So we, uh, when we created, started creating new production fabrics, we went into and looked at the whole process from choosing a sustainable fiber uh, to the yarn spinner and how they take care of their workers and how they work with the water and energy use and all the way through, basically. Um, so we had all of this information and about, uh, about around the same time, we met with Trust Trace, who works with uh, tracing supply chains. And what we really needed from them was, how do we communicate this really complex part of the fashion industry in an open and honest way to our consumers? So we work today with um, Trust Trace and use their, we give them a lot of information. This is the garment we made. This is the whole journey from fiber to final production. These are all of the players involved. Um, this is the countries they're in, and you can easily find them online. You can see what certificates they have. You can see how they work with sustainability, how they take care of the workers. And we put that into a platform that is linked to a QR code in our garments. So you use your uh, smartphone to scan the QR code, and that throws you into the platform as a customer, and you can easily sort of see the whole background behind why we say that this is responsibly made and this is um, sustainable, basically. All right, fantastic. Thank you yeah. for that. A great story and Thank great you. name as well. Thank Congratulations you. <laughs> for that. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so uh, how, how long has this been going on uh, for, the, for the new production? And uh, how much of your assortment of new production is this now covering? All of it. So from fall, winter uh, 20, we have QR codes in all of our garments. Of course, like the traceability work and the f knowing all of this, we had before, but we didn't have a way to communicate it to our consumers. Um, and before, like our first step, we only implemented links online. So this is like, uh, from August, this is the first season where all of, our gar all, all of our garments are actually marked as well. August, two months ago. Yes. Wow. 
And the great thing about the QR code in the garment is that even if you buy a residue's garment uh, secondhand, the info still follows because it's in the care label, right? So when you watch how to wash something, you can also scan the QR code. Now here comes a question that I imagine you've thought about, you and your partner. Mm -hmm. This type of traceability for your garments made out of end of roll, dead stock, and so forth. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about applying it to that? Um, and what are the challenges? We, we are actually applying traceab the traceability we can now for the dead stock, which is, of course, we can tell our cons consumers where we bought it, from who we bought it, and we can tell them who made the garment. But it's really hard when you buy leftovers to trace it past that. So that's a, lot, like a, that, that's a lot more difficult when it comes to leftovers than when we do our new production. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> and um, just to wrap up a little bit, and mm -hmm. I, I'm, I, I imagine a lot of this information is available on, on your website, so people yeah. can read about your story there. Absolutely. I'm just curious, if, if you say the amount of information that you're capturing now with the help of Trust Trace mm -hmm. and, and where you're going next, uh, do you think that... Right now, it's you know just a fraction of the data that you want to capture. How how far along on that journey are you? Um, at the beginning, I would say, because our our goal or our, like our end goal with this, one of one of my f um, like basic question was, okay, so I'm using the sustainable fiber, I'm producing in Europe, I know this, I know that, but what does it really mean in the end? So we actually initiated an. Um, a project with Trust Trace, which is really at an early stage, but where we, once you know all of your suppliers, you can start asking them questions. Uh, you can start digging into the energy they use, the consumption on a daily basis in the factory. And end goal is to be able to calculate what is the actual impact of the entire garment. But we've started. We do have some numbers, but it's still on a basic level. And then the second step to that would be, once you have that data and can calculate everything, then you can also compensate. Right. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> so good luck on your journey. Thank you for sharing it with us. Thank you. Um, and I'm just going to look to my colleagues in terms of time. Do we have time for questions? No. <laughs> I, I actually posed all the questions on behalf of everybody. So <laughs> okay. thank you for coming down to the studio today. Thank you for having me. Bye. Cool.